Whatever his goal may be, Morgan's gone to great lengths to survive. But no matter how hard he tries, the heartless monster inside of him will just keep devouring his body. When Katrina stole my family from me, I lost all hope. This is got kind I wanted to die. This is got kind of gar keine echte Medizin oder so. Das sind so Vitamininfusionsbeutel. Greift nach jedem Strohhalm. Meint die mit Katrina den Hurricane? War das? Ach so, ja, doch, kann schon sein. What is he hoping for? Why do you think he's trying to survive so badly? What does he hope to achieve? Ist das wirklich eine sinnvolle Frage? Wirklich? Will nicht jeder irgendwie überleben? Ist das nicht eher so natürlich? What do you mean? He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Uh, no more Nietzsche. <lacht> ich wusste nicht, dass die den ich wusste gar nicht, dass man Nietzsche auf Englisch Nietzsche ausspricht. Please, just stop. I feel like my ears are gonna start bleeding. Hey, Agent Jones. Wanna know why I love Nietzsche's quotes so much? Uh, sure. I first discovered Nietzsche in a shelter after Katrina. At the time, I was shell-shocked, hopeless. I wanted to die. How could a 13-year-old girl go on living alone with her little brother? Then, in that shelter, I met a college professor. His school was damaged by the hurricane, too, and got closed down. He also lost his family and was living there in the shelter, just like me. So we gradually started spending more time together. I'll never forget the three months I spent with him. He loved Nietzsche. And out of all of Nietzsche's quotes, there was one from Thus Spoke Zarathustra that he repeated over and over again. Better know nothing than half know many things. Better be a fool on one's own account than a sage on other people's approbation. I thought it was a strange quote to hear from a college professor, you know? Why would he think it would be good to be a fool? But I understand what he meant now. He was trying to encourage my little brother and I, so that we'd be able to bear the weight of the victim label that was about to be slapped onto us. So that we could go on respecting ourselves, without ever succumbing to all the patronizers. After that, my grandmother and Lafayette took us in. And that was the last time I ever saw the professor. But whenever I quote Nietzsche, my memories of him come flowing back into my mind. And they give me the power I need to keep pressing on. So I'm going to keep quoting Nietzsche, just to make sure I don't forget my roots. Oh, I, uh, I see. Yeah. I think I get it now. Nietzsche is to you what pizza is to me. <laughs> Sorry for giving you a hard time about it. You are free to go on quoting him whenever you want, of course. I won't say another word. Agent Jones. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> How dare you compare Nietzsche with pizza? I think both had a Z in the name. Ah, sonst... And an I, as the second letter, sogar. Oh, come on. Shouldn't you look after him? I gave him his meds and let him rest. Let him rest where? 
in the bathtub. It happened to have a blanket and a pillow in it. What? But why? I don't know. Maybe he sleeps in the tub. I feel like I saw that once in some vampire movie. I don't know what you're talking about. More importantly, how long has he been like that? It's stage four cancer. He's had it for a while now. No. No. Um, it looks as white as a sheet. You can even see all his veins. I've never heard of any cancer side effect like that. Uh, who knows? But now that you mention it, he started going really crazy around the beginning of December. In what way? He changed pizza places. This better not be another joke. It's not, really. It's not. Before December, he always used to order delivery from a Chicago-style joint all the way up near Medford. But one day, he took one look at one of their trademarked red boxes and totally lost it. Red, huh? You better believe it. He started screaming gibberish at the pizza boy and chased him away. Next thing I know, I see him toss the pizza box out his window. Do you think that's when his fear of red began surfacing more prominently? Beats me. I mean... There isn't a better Chicago-style pizza place that delivers around this area. How could someone give up on that just because they don't like the box? I don't get it. Were you serious for even a fraction of that story? Let me get one thing straight. You started this investigation based on an anonymous tip, right? What kind of a tip was it? Phone or mail? What does that matter at this point? <sighs> this may surprise you, but these kinds of details really eat me up inside. I always get hung up on the most insignificant of details. Especially during the most vital times. For example, uh... You know how people go to bed early the night before they have a big job? That's exactly the time where I start focusing on, on, on meaningless nonsense. Hmm. When did I last clip my nails? How long is my milk good for? I just can't help myself. I can't resist the need to know. It's just the way I am. It was sent in an envelope. Postmarked December 28th, sent out from Louisiana. What did it have inside? A postcard with a dragonfly on it. A wrapped sample of Saint Rouge. And a note. What did it say? Investigate the Clarksons. F.K. F.K. Uh, Forrest... Kaysen. That's it? <coughs> yes, that's it. Who's FK? Anonymous tip, remember? It's obviously just a fake name. Did you confirm that? Of course I did. Louisiana has a population of 4.5 million. The FBI database has a list of 6,682 individuals whose initials are FK. One out of every six individuals is a child under the age of 14, born after 2005. The remaining 5,500 people include those whose initials changed after they married, or incarcerated individuals. After subtracting those, I was left with 3,800. That's when I stopped searching for FK, and I decided to change up my approach. It isn't important where the tip came from. All that matters is solving the case. I got this far by taking the most efficient route possible. Are you satisfied now? Yeah. Thanks. I feel a lot better now. Yep, it all checks out. The letter that was delivered to me bore the Clarkson symbol. A postcard decorated with a dragonfly. 
the mark of the Clarkson family. A single sheet of paper ordering me to investigate the Clarksons. And... So many records. I guess it doesn't matter what kind of person you are. Everyone loves some kind of music. That's one of the reasons why music is so powerful. Who collects vinyl in an age like this when you can stream just about anything? True. Morgan's got refined taste. You really think so? Now, even I thought they were cool back when the vinyl revival first started. But now... Every suburban mall has its own vinyl shop right next to the novelty store. At this point, it's become a solid component of modern snobbism, which only makes them that much more uncool. People who know nothing about real music are buying them up just so they can decorate their walls with cute album art. <sighs> How do you ever have time to enjoy anything when you're always so busy putting people down? Excuse me? You're like IBS. You keep flaring up at the worst times and there's no end in sight. And when you're alone with Morgan, it's just an all-out war zone. We're in the middle of a very important investigation right now. Don't you think we ought to take it seriously? To me, it just looks like you're putting yourself under a lot of stress for no good reason. Why can't you, you know, show a little humanity once in a while? <lacht> Hallo. Nie kann ich wirklich nicht. Ich kann mich echt nicht losreißen. Das hat mich in seinem Bann gezogen, das Spiel. Ich finde es fast blöd, aber ich muss halt dann auch, wenn es dann Sex wird, wirklich schon langsam aufhören, weil ich noch Sachen erledigen muss, auch fürs Wochenende. Aber ich finde es fast blöd, dass ich dann quasi bis Dienstag, bis zum nächsten Stream warten muss, bis wir weitermachen können. Damn it. Aber naja. Does one need humanity in order to track down criminals? Oder wir verlegen den Dienstagstream auf Montag. Mal schauen. Yes, one does. Or well, I don't. <sighs> Come on, Aaliyah. I'm your partner, aren't I? For a few days, at the very least. I'm your invasive partner who has a passionate relationship with pizza, right? Why can't you just let me in on one thing you actually happen to enjoy? No, oh, aside from Nietzsche, that is. You know, I'd really rather not. Why do you always have to be so withdrawn? I can't help it if there's certain things I don't like. No, come on. There's got to be some kind of music you enjoy. This is a good chance to teach me a bit about yourself. I said no. Do you like Justin Bieber? Too cute. Not my type. Drake? I've only ever listened to the hooks. Well then, Ariana Grande, Katy Perry. Hell no, am I done now? Well then, what do you like? Ugh. I have to tell you? Yes, you do. <clears throat> Pink Floyd. No way. You're a Prog rocker? Who turned you on to it? Your dad? As far as I can remember, I've loved prog rock ever since I was born. That's just how music works, right? I mean, The Wall is by far my favorite album. Even to this day, I find it hard to believe that they made that in the 70s. It still sounds completely fresh and unique, as if it was just released yesterday. And What? No, I was just thinking, I wish Morgan could have been here for this. Don't you dare tell him. A soft spot? Ugh. He doesn't even understand the first thing about me.
Ähm, The Last of Us 2 habe ich eigentlich schon Folgen aufgenommen und so. Ich habe es nur nicht mehr geschafft. Ach, ich bin total dämlich. Ich habe die nämlich hochgeladen und wollte die gerade einstellen, damit die auch pünktlich noch online gehen, die Folgen von gestern und von heute und von morgen und von Montag. Und dann ist mir aufgefallen, dass ich die auf dem falschen Kanal hochgeladen habe. Auf dem, auf dem Hauptkanal, auf dem Special-Kanal. Und dann habe ich die wieder gelöscht und wollte sie nochmal hochladen auf dem Let's Play-Kanal, aber dann war es schon 12 Uhr mittags. Dann musste ich, die wurden nicht mehr rechtzeitig fertig. Dann habe ich den Download abgebrochen, weil Stream und Download und äh, Uploaden gleichzeitig ist blöd. Habe den Upload abgebrochen und jetzt muss ich quasi warten, bis ich mit dem Stream fertig bin und dann lade ich die Folgen hoch. Aber dafür gibt es dann Montag, Dienstag jeweils Doppelfolgen. Damit wir wieder quasi aufgeholt haben. Ready to spill the beans, Aaliyah? <sighs> I'm afraid of thunder. Happy now? Katrina? All right, I'll stop. <sighs> Good. Now let's get back to the investigation. No, no, no. Hold on. Now that I think about it, that doesn't really qualify as a soft spot. What I'm looking for is more... How should I say it? Adorable? You know, something that would make you blush. This... Please, I'm begging you. <sighs> I love koalas. They're just so cute, I can't resist them. All I need to do is look at a picture of one and fuzzy wuzzy swim all over me. I mean, the way they look, the way they're shaped, the color of their fur, I mean, even down to how they only eat eucalyptus. I just love everything about them. Once I get some time off, I'm gonna travel to Australia and hug one for real. That's one of the top five goals on my lifetime to-do list right now. <sighs> This conversation never happened, is that understood? Ja, ich kann noch mehr über die Pizzaschachteln reden. Hey, Aaliyah, sorry about before. I went a little overboard. What are you talking about? Okay, okay. Chicagoans all love deep dish pizza. We can't live without the damn stuff. I admit it. That's why I always get so emotional whenever we talk about pizza. I'm sorry. That's okay. It had already left my mind. Well, good. Pizza should always be a peaceful dish, no matter what's going on. By the way, do you eat hot dogs? Why do you want to know? Just tell me, do you eat them? Every now and then, yes. Okay, so what do you put on your hot dogs? <sighs> what is this? A personality test? No, nothing of the sort. You see, the thing is, we Chicagoans are very tolerant when it comes to pizza preferences. But hot dogs? Well, that's a different story. Meaning? I just can't stand those people who put ketchup on their hot dogs. Huh? Mustard is the only condiment that people should be allowed to put on their hot dogs. Anything else is heresy. And yet, look at our world today. Do you know how many people are out there dripping... I mean, let's think about this. What is ketchup, exactly? Zucker, hauptsächlich. Ketchup is a condiment meant for french fries, right? It was never meant to be an accessory for hot dogs. It's out of the question. You got a hot dog? You use mustard. It's an unspoken rule. So, Aaliyah, lay it on me. 
Are you one of those degenerates who puts ketchup on their hot dogs? I do. Dum dum dum. It's it's Ernst. I put ketchup on my hot dogs. Of course I do. No. Well, this partnership isn't gonna last long. You've definitely convinced me of that. Oh yeah? Well, good. From the moment we started this investigation, I always assumed it would be a one-time only thing. <sighs> oh, Aaliyah. Getting curious now, huh? Here, I'll find one of my favorites for you. How about this one? Who Framed Roger Rabbit, directed by Robert Zemeckis. It's a fantasy movie that mixes real actors with cartoons, using what we'd call CG these days, I guess. Yeah, I know that one. It's one where Michael Jordan plays basketball with all the cartoon characters, right? <laughs> what? No, that's Space Jam. It's not even the same director. And besides, that one has the Looney Tunes in it. Whatever. Either way, I'm not watching it. Hm. Fine by me. You know, you're really lacking in the cute department. Was sagt eigentlich der Tentakel über Pizza? Bin ich der Tentakel? Pizza ist super. Pizza ist, ist, ist abwechslungsreich und toll. Ich könnte mich nur vom Pizza ernähren. Naja, aber ich esse schon sehr oft Pizza. Is that supposed to be an insult? No, not at all. I'm just trying to help you turn a new leaf. I'm your invasive partner, remember? Why do you care so much? I no, wrong answer. I think you could use a little more softness. You know what I mean? That would definitely make it easier for people to help you out, you know. You're flawless, intelligent, and charming. All you're missing is some soft spots. Soft spots? Yeah, you know. Like when people find out a super serious politician is actually a huge comic book nerd. Something like that. You've got to have something. Something you secretly like that people wouldn't expect. Well, I don't. End of story. Hey, uh-oh. The lady doth protest too much, methinks. What do you mean? I just... Which means you definitely do. I drücke immer zu früh in Dialog weg. Die sagt, die macht oft zu Pausen. Da mein ich, die ist fertig. Well, what is it? Come on, I gotta know. So, why did you decide to take this case? Because it's my job. Really? I don't... Why not? You aren't just following orders here. You've got way too much emotion invested in this. Some kind of special emotion. There's no use trying to hide it. Despite how I may look, data analysis is my forte. I know how to see through lies. I don't mean to be nosy, but would it kill you to confide in me a little? I didn't manage to live this long simply because I'm fiendishly handsome. And besides, we're going to be tiptoeing across a thin line of legality with the rest of this case, so I'd prefer to have some probable cause. That way, at least I can back you up when you need me to. There exists in the world a single path along which no one can go except you. Whither does it lead? Do not ask, go along it. You're pulling out Nietzsche at a time like this? I have a little brother. After overdosing on a certain drug, he was thrown into rehab. He's been clean for two years now, but he still won't utter a single word. 
All day long, he's plagued by hallucinations. He can't tell if he's dead or alive. If this is reality or if it's all a dream. Saint Rouge. That's right. The doctor can't tell what's causing his condition, so they can't treat him. He just told me to prepare for the possibility that I may never get my brother back. This was his. I bought it for him after he graduated high school and found a job. He never got a single chance to wear it, though. Someday, I believe that he'll get better. And I'll get to see him put this on and head out to work. So you think that if we nab the person behind all this, we may figure out how to conquer the addiction? Right. You really think it'll be that easy? I don't know. But I can't just sit around and do nothing. He's the only family I have in the entire world. What about your parents? When I was only 13, Katrina took them, leaving my seven-year-old brother and I behind. I'm sorry. It's fine. I've already dealt with my past. Now I'm just working as hard as I can to complete the duty I've been given. Yeah. Hey, Agent Jones. I just want to double check one thing. You didn't find anything in the bathroom. Nope. Nothing in there. It must be the bedroom then. Just like I thought. Are you serious about this? Huh? Now you're having second thoughts? Well, not exactly. Uh... Then what? I understand how you feel. But he's got an incurable disease. And he used to be one of us. So? The truth he's given us so far could all be completely fabricated. He's a genius lone wolf agent who solved nothing but difficult cases during his years of active duty. That's what they told me at Quantico, at least. Over and over again, I had to listen to them talk about how no one could ever replicate the kind of work he did. But, let's be real here. You saw his face, didn't you? It was inhuman. It looked like the face of a killer who's been possessed by death. Patricia Clarkson is here, in the next room. Only a single wall away from us. After 14 years, he went back to Lucare, kidnapped her, and imprisoned her here. He's trying to complete something big right now. Something that's deeply connected to Saint Rouge. Jetzt wissen wir, warum sie hier ist. Warum dieses FBI hier ist. Warum sie hier sind. What is all this? <sighs> Pictures of people from Lucare. And this wall is dedicated to Greenvale. Mm. All the deceased have been crossed out. Sheriff Melvin Woods. Oh, oh, jetzt wissen wir schon, dass der stirbt. Lise Clarkson? Where's Patricia? 
That's our altar. What are you doing? 